Well, to me, it seems ironic that when humans evolved a self-aware consciousness and not only became aware of the world around them, but became aware of their own uniqueness, their own specialness in that world, rather than solidifying that connection with the world around them, they seem to isolate themselves from it, that we are no longer part of the environment, we are no longer part of the animal world, and it's just not true. I think from the beginning of the history of our species, when human beings first became aware, part of our journey has been taking that vision quest into the wilderness, discovering ourselves and our place in the universe by reminding ourselves of our humility in the face of the greater environment, uh, nature, as it were. Over time, as society became more and more disconnected with that uh, environment, with, with nature and landscape, the role of the artist has increasingly played a more pivotal role as the mediator between a community and, and nature and its healing power. Artists ask the question, what if, to start that journey to consider possibilities, even in the face of dread, anxiety, and hopelessness. By becoming more in touch with ourselves, with each other, and with the environment around us, we begin to center ourselves, and instead of dreading the future, we begin to find creatively those paths forward that might create that better future that will not only ensure better health, but better happiness. Loneliness is not the absence of people. Loneliness is the inability to express what matters to you most. And if as an artist, we can make a simple, truthful statement that resonates, and even putting it on a fragile flag, whipping in the wind. That resonating message can reach the world. Because at the end of the day, what is hope? Hope is a creative act.